Well, welcome to Saturday Morning Business Training for uh, Relive International. My name is Robert Laird, and I'm here in Garden Grove, California, on a uh, somewhat cool Saturday morning, but it's absolutely beautiful. And uh, I get the pleasure of going through business success training with you all this morning. Um, you may have noticed in your email it was supposed to be Robert and Lauren this morning. However, uh, Lauren had a wonderful uh, thing that they call it Disney um, that's called an overnight, which means she started work at 11.30 last night and got home at about, well, probably an hour and a half ago. So um, she's out cold in the other room, and <laughs> you're stuck with me. So uh, we got involved with Relive about 10 years ago, and it was after my mom had had a uh, pretty substantial stroke and had a uh, really almost miraculous recovery thanks to the products. And uh, and I saw her get the results that she got with Relive, and then I saw my dad get some pretty phenomenal results. And I saw a way that we could help people and uh, build a business doing it and get paid for it fairly. And that really was that interested me. And, uh, and so I jumped in for the business in the top profit level at that master affiliate level um, 10 years ago, uh, last spring, I guess, and uh, and started making money right away that first week. In fact, it was a day in that I started making money. And uh, we've continued to make money every month since then for the last 10 years. We've made as much as $4,000 in a calendar month. We've gone on a couple trips. We've earned a couple bonuses. And, uh, and we love that we've also been able to uh, help people um, around the globe, not just uh, people with the business and the products, but also through our nonprofit organization, the Relive Clovers Foundation, um, which has just been um, such a, a wonderful blessing uh, for, for us as we've helped uh, kids around the globe, um, especially in Haiti, um, have a better life as well. Um, the products were an unexpected benefit for me. Um, really was looking at the business and figured the products were something that I would take just for the integrity of the business. And uh, with the products, I've discovered my allergies aren't um, an issue anymore. My knee doesn't hurt anymore. And uh, I just feel better at 37 than I did in 27. So uh, we absolutely love what Relive's doing for us and has done for us. And uh, we're super excited about where it's going next um, with the promotions for, for Hawaii and all this stuff. And uh, it is going to be a phenomenal year in Relive coming up. So with that, let's see if my slide will work. Bam. Let's try that. There we go. Uh, I'd love to hear what people are excited about this week and their this week's successes. And I know Christina has something. Yes, I do. Good morning, everyone. Christina here. So uh, yesterday we started the holiday season here at Disneyland, and I was rearing to go, both motivated by just the festivities and the promotion with Relive, and I had my um, – my planner out and just getting ready for my day and somebody who just said like you are like you are a bundle of energy this morning like just saw smiles and whatnot and I just kind of looked at them like well yeah like life is good there really should be no reason to like really be a humbug about like yes the park is going to be busy yes people might be a little more needy today, but when you have a goal in mind, something as big as a trip to Hawaii, literally nothing is going to get you down. And today is my second day, and I'm just as rearing to go, and somebody just asked me right now, like, you're going back into the park? And I said, yeah. And they're like, how can you? And I just love telling people, like, I can do it because I have relived. Um, I don't need to work another day to make uh, extra paycheck if I'm getting paid to sh share with people about all this good stuff that I'm able to do. So yeah, I'm just really excited. And you are a walking uh, billboard for Relive. <laughs> I love your excitement and I love that you share it everywhere and and, uh, and you you really do show uh, Relive everywhere you go and that's fantastic, Christina. Thank you. Anybody else have something they're excited about for this week? Robert, I don't know if it's something I'm excited. Well, I, I guess it is kind of that I'm excited about this. Um, Sweet. I am going this morning to a funeral. And this funeral is for my cousin. And he's had all sorts of health challenge challenges. And um, over the years, I've tried to introduce Relive to him. And he he really didn't want anything to do with it, didn't even want to learn about it, which is probably more hard for me than if somebody knows about it and turns you down because they don't know what yeah. they're saying no to. And 
you know, I just think of the the thing that Tom Pinnock's dad used to say to his his retirees when he'd go up to him with the cannery live. All my friends that take this are still alive. The rest are dead. What do you want to do? And, it, you know, I I guess the, the thing that I wanted to say is, is yeah, we're going to get some no's, and sometimes those no's are going to turn into a death like my cousin's. But at the same time, I mean, there are people out there that really need this and want this and will listen to us. And we just have to keep going and talking to people and and sharing this because we can help people. Absolutely right. It's it's uh, sifting through to find the yeses and uh, um, always hard when things like that happen. But uh, I think it's happened to, to pretty much anybody who's who's done relive for any considerable length of time. Um, but uh, you really do have to focus on the people that you can help and not the people that won't let you help them. And uh, yeah, that's 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 a good uh, lesson, Roger. The other thing that I was going to say is I just printed off my tracking sheet for my points yes. for Hawaii, and this is awesome. I like that they did that. Yes, and isn't it uh, so doable? Absolutely. I'm putting yeah, this I, up I on keep, my fridge. Absolutely, I would. And uh, I was doing numbers when they first announced it last week or a week and a half ago, and I was like, you know, this really is. If you keep a slow and steady pace, you can go to Hawaii. That's that's awesome. And then they gave us this tool. All right. How about one more big success this week or any success this week? Anybody? I think I hear somebody. Well, I'll go with what uh, what Lauren and I have going on. We've got uh, a, a new quick start that we sponsored in the last week, and we've got a, a couple new people that are hopping on products that might go. We'll see where they end up going. And uh, we've been uh, plugging away and uh, working on exactly what Roger was talking about with that worksheet and uh, trying to fill it in. We've got quite a few other prospective uh, people coming, and I think we've got a couple people coming on Tuesday. And we had a new person last Tuesday that we think uh, will probably end up going somewhere as well. So we've got a lot of uh, things going on in the pipeline. And uh, we're, we're excited to see where that takes us as uh, we come into the home stretch at the end of the year. And our experience has been as we've kept working through the last two months of the year. And uh, traditionally, these two months have been really good for us. And I don't know if it's because... Uh, um, other people in the industry let their foot up off the gas, or let their foot off the gas, or uh, or what? But uh, but generally, for us, November and December have been very exciting months if you keep with it. I'm going to mute the lines really quick because I hear a little bit of noise, and we'll see if that works. And um, let's see. There we go. Got to remember the code. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a really exciting time of year. And uh, and with this new promotion going to Hawaii, it's um, it's a really good time to start thinking about your goals. And uh, one of the things that this really spurred on with us is we, we saw the Hawaii promotion and all the bonuses that are associated with it. We really started thinking about how can we be a part of that? And we weren't the only ones to do this. We've had more people in our organization um, come to us and say, hey, I think I can do this, and, and we agree with them. And uh, really, this is the time. We've got about eight months, I think, uh, until the end of this promotion to start putting together a plan of action so that you can achieve Hawaii and these bonuses and all of the uh, the exciting things Relive has going on. And And really, that plan of action is going to ensure your success. Um, so goals are the fundamental key to success. Uh, if you, if, I've got a friend who's doing a road trip with his dad around the country right now, and uh, they've gone to some pretty phenomenal places, uh, the Harry Truman Museum and uh, a train museum out in, I think, Missouri or something. But uh, Mark, when he was planning this trip, and I think it's a six-week trip if I remember correctly, um, had to come up with a plan that this is where we're going when, and this is the, the path we're going to take there. And, and so he had a map.
So Mark had a map and goals um, of when he was going to get where by when so that he and his dad can achieve all of the, uh, the things that they want to see um, before this six-week trip is over. Um, goals enable us to create our future. Just like what I was talking about with Mark and his dad going on this trip, um, he's able to plan and make the trip he wants to have by creating a goals and a road roadmap for where they're going to go. And as we're thinking about Hawaii, we can really be creating our future um, based on the plan that we build, based on the goals that we've we've come uh, come up with. And uh, maybe Hawaii is a goal. Maybe it's something bigger than that. Uh, maybe it's um, some other way. And uh, um, and uh, that's just. Uh, can somebody three way in Mike Greenwood? By the way. I see in the chat he's having issues getting in. Um, but, you know, maybe uh, maybe it's something uh, you, we have a distributor in our organization that wants to be able to get a place to live for himself, um, have his own house. And uh, they really do let us create the future that we want instead of being bystanders that are just buffeted by the wind. Um, I, I think of, as I was saying this, um, when I go sailing, I really do plan out where I'm going to go with the boat based on the wind and the waves and everything else. And then I can use those things to my advantage as opposed to if I just let the wind and the waves take over, the boat would get buffeted all around and uh, we wouldn't go anywhere. And then also goals help us grow. Um, goals are like working out for your, for your mind and your heart where they stretch you and they help push you forward and they um, help you do things that you never would have done before. And, and I actually think that's one of the most fun, unexpected benefits of goals is um, it helps create um, in you something you perhaps never knew was there um, that you could do. And that's just a really exciting thing as well. So let's let this go to the next one. There's two questions for uh, compelling goals. Um, you really want to make sure that your goals are something that relate to your heart and relate, to, um, relate deep in your core. Um, so that you can really uh, achieve them and pursue them. First thing, you want to know what you want. If you don't know what you want, it can be an incredibly frustrating thing to come up with goals. Um, it, it's like going, uh, we have this new ice cream store uh, in downtown Disney um, called Salt and Straw. And they have like, I don't know, probably a couple dozen different ice cream uh, flavors. And they're all weird flavors. They're like uh, hazelnut and lavender. Or there's a, a turkey dinner one. I haven't tried it, but apparently it's, it's like a Thanksgiving turkey dinner um, that some, I guess, is good. Um, but you can walk into this store uh, or this, this ice cream parlor and be completely overwhelmed because you're looking at the menu. And, and I didn't, like when I went in a couple weeks ago, I didn't have a clue what I wanted. Um, and so it, it almost became frustrating trying to order um, because I just had no clue what, what to order. Um, that next one should have been, why do you want it? Uh, not what do you want it? Um, and then the, the second one is, is knowing why do you want it? We talk about our whys a lot and, uh, why should be something, um, that really is that deep down motivating factor so that when you do know what you want, then you know, well, why do I want this? Um, and if you have both of them, you can build a more compelling, uh, uh, a more compelling goal and a more compelling argument in your brain and in your heart for why you should pursue that goal. And, uh, and that's where you can start uh, really um, making the goal actionable and making it very realistic. Um, I think sometimes with goals, uh, I don't know about everybody else, but I have really, really huge goals and then I have the middle goals and then I have the, the actionable goals that are kind of like right in front of me. And I think sometimes the really, really, really big goals, um, we don't always ask the why do I want it, what do I want thing. It's just kind of like, oh, there's this huge big thing. And, and because of that, it's not as realistic as it could be. Hey, it worked. Um, so now you also, as you've, you've come up uh, what your goals are and why you want them, um, you really want to define them next. And that's where we come up with SMART goals. And I know we've, we've hit on these before, um, but I think it's something we need to hit on regularly. Um, SMART goals and goals in general are something that you don't just do in January when it's like, oh, it's the new year, um, time to come up with some new goals. It's something we really should be looking at um, on a daily basis. 
And so as you're coming up with your goals, you've got uh, uh, what your goal is and why, why it's so important to you. Um, then you want to define it with your SMART goal. So you want to make it specific. Um, you want to be able to know exactly what it is. Um, you want it to be measurable. You want to be able to see, was I successful or not? Um, you also want it to be achievable. Is it something that I can do? Um, that's what I love about this Hawaii trip is it really is something that I could sign up today and relive and achieve that Hawaii trip um, because they've made it something that's so um, achievable. In fact, as I'm thinking about that uh, that sheet that they put out that Roger was talking about, it really is kind of a form for how you can um, have smart goals to go to, to Hawaii. Is it realistic? Um, is it something that really um, can happen and, and you know, doable? And, uh, well, that was achievable, but is it something that really can happen? And, and in your heart, can you know it happens? Um, I think so often the key to goals is really conquering what's going on between our ears um, as opposed to, uh, you know, I can run a mile today um, only if I think I can. It's the, the Henry Ford quote, uh, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. And then is there a time frame to it? Pick that time frame. This is what's great about Hawaii as well, is they've given us a very specific time frame of when we have to reach our, uh, what is it, 60, 70, 80 points. And, and that's a really awesome thing. And uh, I don't know about you, but I'm just on fire for this. And I, I think uh, literally every person on this call could be going with us to Hawaii. And uh, we're working in our local organization down here because we would love to see every person that comes to our, our local training and our local Tuesday night meetings go to Hawaii with us. So um, really be keeping that in your head um, just because it's such a uh, nice format that they put that, that sheet in. And if you don't know where it is, um, it's on the Relive website under the, the uh, distributor resources. Um, and it's fantastic. So then we've always had SMART goals, but I think we can break it down even more of how to come up with the goals so here's some practical steps to setting goals that I hope really are helpful. Um, take six minutes and brainstorm things that you'd like to achieve or experience in the next 20 years. Uh, maybe it's something um, as, as obvious as what we're talking about this morning, going to Hawaii. Maybe it's something like uh, I want to have a certain car that's awesome like Rogers. Maybe it's I want to um, visit the, the, the seven wonders of the world. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe it's I want to own a house. But come up with it for six minutes. Time yourself. All of your phones have a timer or use the kitchen timer. And use six minutes. Make a list as big as you can of things that you'd like to, to do or experience um, or achieve in the next 20 years. Once you've done that, this kind of comes the fun uh, instinct gut part is for 90 seconds, one and a half minutes, go through the list. Just go right down and label how long you think each uh, wish will take, each goal will take. So you can put it in a one-year category, a three-year category, a five-year category, a 10-year category, or 20. It's kind of easy to remember, one, three, five, 10, 20. And, um, and do that really quickly and really rely on your instinct for this one. Don't overthink it. Um, you know, don't be thinking, oh, um, the house is going to take 20 years. Or, um, or going to uh, Japan, that's, that's going to take five years for sure. Um, don't, don't be sitting there thinking how your current circumstances dictate the answer. Be thinking really more with your heart and your gut, just like, oh, one, three, five. And it's, it's more of how long you'd like it to take as opposed to the logic factor. So then um, take, take up to 30 minutes and review the list and pick your top for one-year goals, so the things you'd like to be doing in the next year. Um, these are the things that really, when you look at them, maybe they make you smile, they make you feel warm inside. Um, they just kind of give you that rush of like, that would be so cool. And then write a paragraph for each of these explaining why you're going to achieve this in 12 months. Um, this is a little bit of work. Um, I, will, I will flat out say that. This is not a, a quick uh, blah, blah, bum, you done um, on a Saturday morning training thing. It's a really sitting down and uh, and thinking this through. And you know, you could take over 30 minutes for this, but I don't think you really need to. But um, really, just uh, let that internalize and, and let that kind of um, uh, 
grow in your heart and in your um, in your head and, and start building off of those four things. And that's a really good starting point. And then the next step is not just writing them down and being like, oh, look at my cool four paragraphs. It's actually pursuing those goals. Um, so the first thing I would do is share your goals with a mentor, friend, or family member. Um, find that person that's going to help um, build you up and pursue those goals. Um, I think one of the worst things that can happen to someone is they come up with really exciting goals that they're like, oh, yeah, this is going to be so cool. And then they go and tell somebody and they're like, well, that's dumb. And, you know, you don't want the people that are going to be Debbie Downers. You want the people that are going to help raise you up and build you forward. So pick somebody that's positive. It's going to encourage you. And, and yeah, they're going to help you get where you need to go. And, that, uh, and that's a really good person to share your goals with. Then break down your goals. Um, if you've, once you've done those four one-year goals, then you're going to take them and say, uh, what do I need to do each month to achieve that goal? Then break it down further. What do I need to do each week to break down that goal? And then you're going to write down your, your goals to, uh, that you have to do to achieve your big goals, but on a daily basis. How many, in the case of Relive, how many people need to see the Relive presentation today for me to go to Hawaii? How many people, and that's, that's part of this, is as you do more of this, you're collecting uh, information and data so that you know, oh, I got four people um, on the webinar this week or to my Tuesday night or whatever, and uh, three of them signed up as, as customers, and one of them actually was an auto ship. So I got two points there towards my trip to Hawaii. Now I have, um, you know, if you're heading for 70 points, I've got 68 points to go. Great. You can measure, that's the measurable part, um, your goals and the steps that you're, you're on on that path to uh, achievement. Um, you want to be consistent with your pursuit of achieving your goals. Um, one of the things that, that um, Hour of Power has really given me a unique opportunity for is I get to interview a lot of successful people. And um, I always enjoy the interview, but I enjoy the off-interview time, off-camera interview, when we're just kind of getting to know each other um, even more. And so with these, you know, a couple dozen people that I've gotten to interview, um, I love to see what has helped them get to where they're at. And one of the most common things I'll hear is um, once they figured out where they needed to go, which often that's part of their story is, is, is I was doing this thing, and I realized I need to be doing that thing. And, and I was really passionate about that thing and not the first thing. And once they made that pivot and started pursuing their passion, um, the consistency and the dedication is always a part of that equation. And, um, and that's just something that I think uh, we can overlook sometimes is, oh, it's Saturday. I don't need to, to work on Saturday. Or, oh, it's um, you know, I don't know what day it is. I mean, I don't know which day for that. But uh, being consistent is ridiculously important. Um, one of the things that's taught me this lesson more than anything else is through my, my Disney website. And what we've discovered through the last uh, 14 years, I think I've been doing it, 15 years, something like that, is if we have at least two articles that go up every day, our traffic stays good. If we only get one article up, our traffic goes down by about 40%. If we don't get any articles up, <clears throat> then it's really bad. Um, but it really does affect our, our traffic. And we have a baseline of we don't have to post anything. And we'll probably still get, what, 30 40% of a normal day's traffic. But people really do want um, a daily, um, consistent thing. And when we're thinking about building our Relive business, um, people want to know that you're there consistently. And people want to that are following you want to know that you're consistently acting and thinking about Relive and where you're going with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then something that you want to do on a daily basis as well, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, um, be celebrating your successes. Um, grab hold of those little things that happen every day and, and focus on those good things. Um, because as you focus on those good things, they're going to grow, and success breeds more success. And, and that's just a, a fun thing to know, but it's also a really um, comforting thing to know. Because every day is filled with good things and bad things. And, and really what determines tomorrow is how you react to today. 
Um, you can choose to look at the good things that happened or you can choose to look at the bad things that happened. It's, uh, it's much like what Christina was talking about, being excited for work in the holiday season. There's a lot of really awesome things that happen at Disneyland during the holiday time. And then there's a lot of really crazy people that show up at Disneyland during the holiday time. They've, uh, they've, it, it seems to bring out the, uh, the, I'm, I'm going to say the personal passion for a perfect Disney experience at holiday times, um, where people come in and they just expect everything to be absolutely perfect and, um, for there to be zero cost and, and you name it, they, they probably think they deserve it. And, and they forget that, yeah, you still have to walk all the way over to Pirates of the Caribbean, um, with 60,000 of your closest friends. And, and when you have that many people there, you're going to bump into each other. Um, but you can either focus on bumping into 60,000 of your closest friends, or you can think about how beautiful that Christmas tree is on Main Street and how awesome it is that every night for the next 61 or 60 nights, it's going to be snowing on Main Street and the beautiful music and, and the exciting things happening. And as we uh, focus on every day, there's always going to be the beautiful music and the Christmas tree moments that happen every day. And there's always going to be those, those bumps. And uh, I would suggest to focus on the beauty. And, and that's really going to be a key to success. So with that, let's take it to the practical part. If you've got your goals and now you need, and you've, you've set up your plan and you've got your daily steps, um, this, these are your daily steps for succeeding with Relive. Um, and that really is where our uh, fundamental steps for our circle of success take place. Um, we have got a fantastic system that Relive has put in place over the last 30 years. And it's all based around bringing new people into this system. The more new people you bring into the system, the more, um, the more benefits everybody gets. Um, as you're helping new people, you're actually also helping yourself and, and everybody else in Relive because all boats rise with the tide. And so as you're looking in the next eight months or maybe you're looking at the next two months till the end of the year, you really want to fuel your business with new people. And then you want to help them fuel their new business with new people. And that's really what gets this thing so exciting. Um, I think there's few things more exciting in Relive than helping a person succeed and see them catch that um, that excitement in their eyes when they realize that uh, they can actually make a, a paycheck for helping other people. So we have our, our circle of success. It's all based on taking action now. Um, and so there's daily fundamentals, and we're going to go through those really quickly. And, uh, and it starts with identifying. Um, in life, we meet thousands of people. Um, in fact, I heard a statistic this last week that even an introverted person who's pretty much stayed to themselves over the course of their lifetime will have an influence on over 10,000 people. That's, the, that's an introvert. Can you imagine somebody that's in the middle or somebody that's more on the extroverted end of things? And, and so if you think through the course of um, at the, the baseline, the course of somebody's life, they influence 10,000 people, um, that's a huge opportunity. And so you just want to make a list. Um, you want to think of 10 people that you're like, yeah, yeah, they might like the products or, or 10 people that, oh, business, that sounds awesome. Um, and you really want to think of why you thought of them. Um, it's kind of almost going back to what we were talking about, writing your goals of, of why those four things you're going to achieve in the next year. Well, think of why, why did I uh, think of Christina today um, for, for Relive? What, what was it about um, her um, that I thought that this would be something that she would she would like. Oh, she likes to travel with her family. She might like a business so that she can actually pay for traveling with her family. And um, and this really helps show that you care pe care to people. And uh, people love to know you that you care way more than they uh, love to hear what you know. So next step is who are the first five you're going to contact. Um, you can do that with a highlighter. You can do that with a little note next to your list. Um, what is whatever it is the system that you choose that's fine but pick the first five that you're going to contact and then pick who you're going to contact today I think you can do all five um, know that there's always new people to talk to um, there's family there's friends work church school social media um, there are places that you can find new people every day you can go sit at Starbucks you can go walk in the park um, I've been hearing lately that dog parks are a fantastic place to go and meet people. So if you have a dog, that's a, that's a good choice. 
Um, but find ways to add to the list every day. If you're passionate about dancing, go take a dance class. If you uh, um, play an instrument, go join a band. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can connect with people, and there's lots of different free ways that you can connect with people, too. It's just a, a matter of being creative and uh, sometimes thinking a little bit out of the box. But really, it's pursuing the passions you have um, anyway in life and connecting with other people while you're doing it. Next thing is connect. Um, go go to your upline and review those 20 pro prospects and, and ask the question, who's first or who's next? And, and when it comes down to wondering what to say, it really is speak from your heart. Um, you want people to know um, why you thought of them, why you're excited about this, and how much you care about them. In fact, you care about them so much that you shared Relib with them. Um, so then you can use the company tools to validate. And the goal with this is to set an appointment so that they can see a bigger picture of Relib. And um, that's just something that's, this is, I think, one of the more fun parts of Relive uh, is, is connecting with people. And this this not only gives people a chance to see what your passion is and what your heart is, but you get to see what their passion and their hearts are as you're connecting with them. There's a lot of opening sentences here. Uh, maybe you want to talk about health. Maybe um, you want to talk about finances. Um, for me, it almost always starts with how are you doing? Um, I really want to know um, how people are doing and, and really what um, – I like to know what people are passionate about, what their um, their struggles are in life, and what their excitement, uh, the things that are really uh, exciting them in life are as I'm getting to know them and sharing Relib with them. And, and I really think that as I get to know them and, and build those relationships, it enables me to help them better um, and get to the point where I can say, Kathy, I know your health is a priority. What if I had something that could help you? Um, that, that's kind of the path that I take, but really it comes down to follow your heart and, and connect with people. Um, use tools and stories to validate. We've got fantastic stories in Relive. Um, it's amazing the different things people have done and been helped with in Relive. And so let people meet your friends and hear the stories from the, the storytellers themselves. Um, there's something that's really magical about hearing somebody say what Relive has done for them and being able to ask questions about the process and connect. And, and that's just a ridiculously good tool. Um, there's also all the videos and everything else that uh, they're working on at Relive that are, are great tools as well. And some great um, brochures I was looking at last night too. Next is share the Relive story. This one's a lot of fun too. Um, share your story. Share your why, share your belief, share your heart. Um, share, think back to when you got started in Relive. What was that thing? There's that one thing that really um, maybe can, like it connected with your head and your heart. Then you kind of went, wow. Um, you know, for me, it was seeing my dad boogie board without any pain pills, and he'd been on pain pills his whole life or my whole life. And, and that was that thing that suddenly it, it turned the light bulb on, on in my, my head of like, wow, this is the real deal. But you really want to share that um, where that passion started with and where it came from. And you want to hold on to that as you're sharing uh, your Relive story. And then as you share the whole story of Relive, make sure you don't skip anything. Make sure you're talking about the business. Make sure you're talking about the products. Make sure I always um, drop in the Clogris Foundation at some point. It's been amazing to me through the years um, how many people – um, whether that's their passion point or not, really like what Relive does with the Clovers Foundation. And I love that they've added it in the slides um, in, a, I think, a really positive, good way. Um, there's lots of different ways you can share the, the Relive story, whether it's the opportunity book, slides, videos, um, online, relive.com slash get started we've been using, um, and then webinars and uh, like we're on right now. And there's all, they're all good ways. Um, the thing I like to encourage our organization to do, and it's, it's up to your upline and, and you how you do it, but it's, I always try to make it as personal as we possibly can. Um, we are in a relationship business, so if I have the opportunity to meet face-to-face -face or have them come to a Tuesday night or even better, a like Relive Live, my first choice is always going to be the most personal choice, um, which isn't always the easiest. Um, I would tend to say webinars are probably the easiest way for me to share the Relive story just because I don't have to get up and get out of my house and um, it's, it's sending an email or sending a text message or something like that. 
But um, I do know that we've seen through the years that um, the most effective uh, presentations generally have come from face-to-face -face and, and being able to build that relationship. And you can do that through webinars and everything else as well, too. It just takes a little bit more work maybe with, with three-way calls or, or more text messages or whatever it is. But make sure that the presentations are relational. And then um, introduce your upline or other really stories as you're sharing the relive story. Um, and it's really going back to what I said a few minutes ago about connecting people with stories. And, and really, that's where Relive goes from the intellectual to your heart. Um, as you first take a look at Relive, sometimes there's that, that, um, that tendency of like, okay, let's see what you got. And then as you see that, um, that um, my friend Roger in uh, Burbank has lost, well, he's La Puente, but he works in Burbank, but he's lost 140 pounds, I think it is now. And, and you see how, um, how much energy he has and how on Sundays when he goes to Disneyland with us, he's keeping right up with us um, and not having to take breaks. And he's, you know, tackling the stairs right with us. And he's, he's just a ball of energy. And, and that's just, that's a whole new life. And that's just an exciting thing to happen. And, uh, and when people get to hear those and see those stories um, for themselves, that just makes Relive that much more exciting. Um, there's there's lots of um, ways to share the Relive stories. I kind of went through a few of these just a minute ago. Um, big thing to know is you don't have to know it all. Be honest with what you know, be honest with what you don't know, and then use Relive's built-in system to educate and validate both of those. If you don't know an answer, that's totally fine. Say, you know what, I don't know. I'm gonna find out for you. And then go and find the answer and connect them with, with whoever and, and get them an answer or, or email corporate or whatever it is it takes. Um, it's a really good thing. In fact, I always like it when I am in a, a store or something and I ask a question and the person says, I don't know, I'm gonna find out for you. Um, because I would much rather that answer than an answer that's 60% I think I'm right, but I'm not entirely sure. So, um, yeah, be honest and uh, use a system. Next step, I think, can be hard for some people, um, but as you practice it, it gets easier and easier, and that's asking for a decision. Um, and with that, be prepared for the next step, whatever that is. Um, if they want products, be ready to give them products. Um, if, if they want um, to sign up as a customer, distributor, or master affiliate, know how to do that, one, and two, be ready to go. And, uh, and be ready to help them um, take whatever it is that next step that they want to go with. And uh, this is, I think, really fun because it's the first step of, of a bigger relive journey in a world for them. And this is where you really get to invest into someone and help them get the results or the achievements that they want with relive. And so this is a really important uh, uh, question is you want to ask them, um, what they'd like to do next because that answer that they give you is going to give you a direction to go um, moving forward with this person and uh, so if they want to get started with the products ask questions and listen um, you know we always suggest getting started with the core nutrition and that would would be uh, the now or the kids now and uh, I have a dog scratching at the door but you know really um, start them strong and, and help them uh, get where it is that they want to go. And if they need a specific targeted solution, great. Help them with that also. But in general, it's much better to start them simple and then build later um, because it won't overwhelm and uh, the price tag won't overwhelm as quickly either. And, uh, and always, you know, take the opportunity to look at ways that you can help them save products. Um, there's there's auto ship, there's... Uh, becoming a distributor, and if they are being asked all the time, who do you know that can benefit from these real products, and maybe through the course of the presentation, they came up with a list of 30 people, I'm thinking they might want to be a distributor, and you might want to weigh with them the, the benefits of being a distributor versus just a customer or, or maybe um, an auto ship um, or preferred customer. And, and as you do that, um, you could actually go through and be like, here's the path of, of, of customer, and this is how much you'll pay. Um, here's the path of distributor. Here's how much you pay. Here's how much you save. Here's the break-even point between um, where you, this actually starts paying for itself. Um, that $40 is now paid off, and everything here is now discount and profit. And, and that can be some, uh, some really good information for people if they're looking at relives.
Um, same with the business. Uh, ask people where they'd like to get started, and I usually ask people also where would they like to go. Like where would they where would they see the big picture? Um, because some people they really I mean when I got started with Relive, I thought if I could make an extra fifty dollars a month, that'd be great. But I also thought I want the smartest fifty dollars a month, and that's why I went master affiliate. I wanted to work smarter, not harder. To uh, quote uh, Scrooge McDuck. But other people, maybe they do just want a, a little bit of extra per month, and distributor is a great place to start. But other people are going to want to build a career level income, and master affiliate is essential to get there. And and so it's really um, helping them uh, position themselves in the right place for them as they're building their business. And you do that by uh, signing them up, by looking at the different profit options in the comp plan, and then setting them up for success. Um, it's getting them on the product, and it's getting them uh, going with what exactly we're talking about with XR here, um, with this system, so that they can start um, achieving success right away. And part of that is getting them into, getting it into their head of who do you know that might want to start a Relive business? Who do you know that might want to start a uh, Relive product? Who do you know that hasn't heard of Relive yet? And and really starting to get in their head that there's literally millions of people around that are looking for what we have to offer, and uh, we just need to go out there and connect with them. So we've, we've asked the questions. We've found out where they want to go, um, and now it's time to do it. We get them signed up. We register and grow, and, and we help them achieve the successes that they want to achieve. And uh, this is going to help them. Um, be consistent, it's going to help them get results, and it's going to help uh, build excitement, really, at the end of the day. So you really want to keep it simple. And with each of these, I like to connect people with a story. So day one, maybe you want to say, did you shake it today? Um, and maybe you want to connect them to your friend Terry. Um, I just, you know, hey, Christina, I was thinking about you today as I was talking to my friend Terry. you got to hear what Rila was doing in her life. And then uh, would you tell her a little bit about what your, uh, your journey has been on your first day? And, and then it gives both of them an opportunity to build that relationship and connect. And, and Terry is going to share about her journey and how her feet don't hurt anymore. Maybe Christina is going to say, hey, you know what? I took, I took it, and it's really vanilla -y. Um, Does it come in other flavors? Well, you can blend raspberries in, and it's delicious. And, and then day three, same thing. And it's starting to build the consistency. And maybe you're connecting them with um, Kevin this time instead. And, and I like to really have that dialogue go back and forth where the new person shares how excited they are and the, the person in Relive gets to share as well. Um, just to build, and, and I usually position the question that way, of like, oh, what are you really loving about Relive so far? Or, or what, what's, your, um, what's your favorite way of mixing a shake? Like, what's your favorite shake? And, and as you're doing this, um, people generally are going to see results pretty quickly. Uh, usually the first one I hear is energy. But it's really constantly kind of um, helping them uh, achieve their successes and then celebrate their successes as they're going through it. And then just as I've been saying the last few slides, it's always asking, who do you know? Whether it's health or business, it's who do you know? Uh, because you don't know what need that they haven't told you yet. Um, maybe they have a health need that they haven't thought of um, or somebody in their family that they hadn't thought of. But because it keeps getting asked, they start thinking that way. Or maybe there is a business, um, you know, somebody that needs a business in their family or, or just a little bit down on their luck and, and just need the right opportunity, and they've got the opportunity to share it with that person. At the end of the day, all of these are only guidelines, though, and it's really about using common sense. And um, at the, I, I think sometimes uh, we want to stay so close to what uh, the system says and what this says that uh, we don't realize all of this is contingent on the person basically following our lead. And some people just aren't. Um, we used to use the analogy of um, a relive business is like a tennis match where you hit the ball over the net and then you have to wait for the ball to come back. And um, we, we have a, a high school right next to the church where I work and there's a tennis court, there's like six of them, right in our parking lot basically. And it's always funny, uh, you can tell there's different teams or classes of people taking tennis because some days when I'm leaving work you have all of these kids and they're playing tennis and they're hitting the ball back and forth and and it's, it's actually kind of fun to listen to and to watch and then there's other days where you walk out and the parking lot's full of tennis balls 
<laughs> and um and, and I really think that it comes down to is, is they're they're just not doing it right or whatever, or they're brand new. Um, but uh you don't wanna use up all your tennis balls on, on one person that's not gonna hit the tennis balls back. And and so, you know, if they hit the ball back, great. But don't go chasing after them all the time. Use common sense. Connect with them at the heart level um, because that's really what's going to help them succeed. Um, same with distributors. Um, help them take immediate action. You want to set them up for success, and the best way you can do that is go through what we've been going through with this training. Identify, connect, share the story. Go through the entire thing. Ask for a decision. Register and go and do it all over. And, and keep doing that and, and really help them know that this is a simple business, but it's a business you have to work. Um, this isn't a sign on the dotted line and suddenly you're a millionaire. This is a sign on a dotted line and you have the opportunity to not only become a millionaire someday through a business that you've built through your, your hard work and, and heart, but you get to impact thousands of people's lives for the better. And, and I just don't know many places you get that opportunity. So it's a great way to do it. Um, there's a ton of real tools out there that you can use. In fact, uh, there's more on the way. I was just talking with um, Tom Pennick Jr. Um, this week, and they're working on some more videos, and, and I'm going to encourage him to get them under 60 seconds so you can use them on Instagram and Twitter and everything else. And just give us the opportunity to connect even more and have more tools that um, that can really help spur on the business. But remember, at the end of the day, tools are always something that help um, make your business better. They're not the driving force of your business. Um, the driving force of your business is always going to be new people, relationships, incredible products, and an amazing uh, comp plan. There's the Relive system. This is uh, pretty much the whole thing, uh, what it looks like. It's the, the top section is a little bit different now with Relive Live, but it really comes down to daily activity and really connecting people into that, new people into that, corporate support, connecting new people into that, and then from that, growing to the Relive Live. Um, so Concord, California next spring is the next Relive Live. Uh, I would be thinking, who can I bring with me? In fact, we are thinking that. Who can I bring with me to Concord, California next spring? And, and that's coming from new people. I have the working assumption that if you're in my organization, you're going to conference or to Relive Live. Does that always happen? No. But leaders go to conference. And, and so be thinking about that now. And then going back to what we talked about at the beginning of this call, be thinking of how does Relive Live and Concord fit into my bigger goal of going to Hawaii or, or whatever it is that you have for your bigger goal. And, and how can I utilize Relive Live to benefit the business and benefit my organization's businesses so that they can get their 70, 80, whatever points and go to, to Hawaii as well. And, and that can be an incredible opportunity um, to really boost your business and, and take it to the next level. So then, engage your team. Um, we have amazing people in Relive, so we should use them all the time. Um, you want to develop a library of stories, whether they're upline, downline, um, other distributors. You want to connect with these people, build relationships with them, and, and really uh, take this thing to the next level. Um, Relive is not a, uh, a one-man sport. Um, it's, it's not something that you're just going to go out and do by yourself. Relive is something we get to do as friends and family members, and, and we create this big Relive uh, family, and, and we get to support each other and take it to the next level. We've got incredible tools. We've got an amazing system. Um, if you stick to the people, the tools, the system, and, and keep it simple, this can be the most fun um, experience of your life, and you can get incredible benefits. And um, really, when you want to be thinking big picture about this, you want to be thinking about ambassadors. Um, do you want to be an ambassador? And if you do, it's all about building relationships. Ambassadors, at the end of the day, are amazing leaders. They're our leaders in, um, in the distributor core. And uh, this is the secret sauce, is to build ambassadors, you build relationships. You also want to stay engaged with what's going on in Relay. Um, they've got emails, calls, webinars, blogs, all sorts of stuff, social media, Michaela Mondays. Um, all sorts of stuff that you can find um, pretty much everywhere. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, the two places I would point you is Relive.com, which is absolutely beautiful. Take some time um, exploring the redesigned Relive.com. I had fun looking at it yesterday and uh, finding even more things. 
And then also the uh, Facebook page for Relive. Um, they've got a lot of good resources going out right there as well right now. And then it's coming back to what we started with, set goals. Um, review the road to PD, see where your goal fits within that road to PD. And then as you're building your goals, it's all about stretching thinking and, and really thinking um, what could be, you know, what do I want and why do I want it? Um, and really take some time today. You know, that whole process I gave you is under an hour, but it's, it's an hour of something that you're dedicating to and you're, you're not, um, you know, don't do it while you're doing four other things. Really focus for an hour. What do I want? Why do I want it? And, and go through that process and, and develop your SMART goals and, and then develop those, that list for the 1, 3, 5, 10, 20 and, and really go through and, um, and make it a reality. Uh, come up with those paragraphs and, and start working towards those four things that you want to achieve this next year. Uh, maybe it's becoming a key director. Uh, maybe it's having a new key director in your organization. Maybe it's going on a trip. Maybe it's changing um, the place you live. Maybe it's being able to provide for a family member. I don't know. Um, that's, that's up to you. Um, what I do know is the best way for you to get there is to really think of and internalize the goals and the place that you want to go. Um, because when you do that and then you build a plan around that, your chances for success just go through the roof. And, and that's where this thing Really, really exciting. So then it comes down to the, uh, the end of our training, and that's all about duplication. Build a business that you'd like to see duplicated. Um, as you go about your day and as you build your, your goals and as you take action every day, um, be thinking, is this what I want my distributors that I have uh, brought into Relive to do as well? Um, and then it's going to happen. At the end of the day, we always end up doing um, what our upline or what our, our sponsors or, or mentors do. And so duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Put them into the system, follow up with them, connect with them, build those relationships, and help them achieve success. And then along the way, you're going to achieve success as well. And it comes down to the question all the time of who's next. And, uh, you know, always be asking that and always be working towards that next level and that next goal. And uh, this could be an absolutely incredible uh, few months and years with Relive as we take it to that billion-dollar company that it should be and, and create a lot of millionaires along the way. So with that, um, I think, let's see. And we will call it a day for today. And I wish everybody a very happy Saturday. And uh, let's make it a great end of the year and then exciting first half of next year as we work to Hawaii. Have a great time.